Breakfast makes me happy, makes me very happy. I love to have it either alone or just, you know, in comp with like someone. And it just, you know, there are a few things that really make me happy. But breakfast is one of them, and it's like my favorite meal of the day. Toast, yummy. Very nice. Last night, I wasn't happy at all. I had a miserable, not a miserable, I guess that would be too much of a word, but I just didn't enjoy my evening. I didn't like the people. There were like 40-year-olds um, acting like 20-year-olds and like always making stupid jokes that weren't funny. And I can't pretend I'm having fun. I'm not one of those people. Instead, Pala was laughing away, always yapping, laughing. And, I, and it was hot and just, I didn't like it at all. So hopefully, um, hopefully it's going to be a better day. Because after these evenings, I just think how like useless and pointless it is to go out and like force myself to go out and have fun when it's not actually fun. So I think quality is better than quantity. And I have been saying that to myself for quite a while now. And um, I just don't like these people, so I'm never going to go out with them again. I mean, it's as simple as that. They're nice people, good people, but it just, um, it's just not working for me. And I see a lot of, like, people being superficial, being just silly about everything. And, oh, it's just driving me crazy. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, um, let's, let me try to be superficial too, I guess. I don't know. So today I feel kind of, not down, but just annoyed and fed up of everyone and everything. And just enjoying my breakfast and it's making me happy in my nice home. By the way, I just bought this home. This is my first home that I bought. So... Um, I really like it, and I like staying here um, because, because it's mine. It's my first one. Oh, look, Shannon. <laughs> You're on my Facebook page. <laughs> and um, so, yeah. So today I'm probably go to the beach, and I just want to relax. And tonight I'll maybe go out with my old group of friends, the... Well, lately I've been hanging out with Paula a lot and her friends, who I don't like that much. Okay, I don't have fun with them, not that I don't like them. But um, tonight I'm probably going to go out with my good friends, the ones I really have fun with. So we'll see. Yesterday I forgot to tell you that I bought this, um, this is a powder, a green powder. It's a, a mud mask, basically. So I have to take two tablespoons of this, put it in boiling water, make, mush it up like, like a little, it becomes, until it becomes like creamy, and then apply it to my uh, face once or twice uh, a week, she said. And it's supposed to close all my pores. And anyways, mud masks. Th this is a clay, basically. And um, is it, no, is it clay? A clay mask? They're called clay masks? Yes, it's a clay mask. Here they're called mud masks. And, um, yeah, so I really, hopefully, it'll work, and I think it will, because it just closes your pore and extracts all of the, like, impurities that you have. And I have quite a bit of them. I've been breaking out lately. I think it's the heat, obviously. And I haven't been doing anything to my skin, which is not good. I'm quite lazy about it. And then today I'm going to continue using the Avon, the Avon um, Moisture Lip Balm. Okay. And then, um, this is what I've been using at the beach, number 30, Hawaiian Tropic. And it's very good. And I'm not just saying that, but it's actually very good because I didn't get burnt at all. And I have a nice little um, kind of brownish color. I'm going to go down to 15 today because um, 30, I think, is a bit too much now, even though I'm telling you guys, um, today I can't stay. Like, that's my kitchen over there, and it's, like, so sunny. 
And I can't even like go in there because it's so hot. So I'm gonna turn on the AC soon. Where are you going? Um, yeah, anyway, so I think I'm gonna go to the beach later, but I'm gonna go around like one. And one is the hottest time to go, but I'll go anyway. Hi, Paula. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so we just got here. We already went into the water and it's quite warm today, the water. It's very nice. It seems like a pool. And um, I brought, today I brought my beach umbrella and another beach towel that matches my beach umbrella. The knot here. My students do this, uh, actually, these knots. They're really good at making knots. And tonight, we're going to Ostuni. Um, Ostuni is one of my favorite all-time places here in the south. It's called the White City. There's a lot of tourism, too. So hopefully, um, we'll see some Americans and just everyone goes there it's really nice and um, I won't be able to show you much of the white city but I'll show you the lovely shops like there's a lot of caftans and local products and ceramics so um, yeah I'll show you those tonight I can't wait to, sh to go because I love it I love the restaurants like I said it's like the atmosphere is lovely and very touristy so you'll see Look how pretty he's got the earrings all over on the uh, umbrella. These guys come from Africa and they spend all day on the beach going back and forth selling their stuff. But this guy is really cute about it. He's put all the jewelry, all the earrings on an umbrella and in his hand he's got all the um, necklaces. My red shoes that go very well with my pants. <laughs> allora. Okay, so this is my favorite shop ever. I can't bring the camera inside, obviously, but they have, it's an outlet store. I don't know if you can see. And... Yeah, they have like really high-end brands. The one where they make like the best ceramics ever, which are made in Grottale, and I'll show you that town another day. Oh, handmade shoes. Just like the ones at Capri that I told ya. Debbie. These are pretty, yeah. Rings. Non si vede granché, eh? Quella lo scorcio. Beautiful town. I giapponesi. No, eh, scendiamo un po'. Oh, no, una signorina di colore. Morso dall'orecchino che si è messo. Infatti. <laughs> 